are blaring out with Eric Blair Show tonight at the 18th annual Beverly Hills Film Festival for the premiere of In Your Face, The Niels Lowe's Hour Story with actress, celebrity makeup artist, and photographer Peggy McIntaggart Seagrin. Peggy, what has it been like to be photographer Niels Lozauer's personal makeup artist for over 30 years? You don't really take anything he says seriously because he's he it's just his personality because I know Neil from the heart. He's been like a part of my family for a long time. Not only has it have I done makeup for him, he's always come to my kids' birthday parties, I've been a part of his child growing up and with all the rock stars it's like Neil's always got you know kind of rough around the edges but he really is just the biggest baby I've ever met and one time I asked him if he wanted a bearded dragon and he said well sure I'll take a look at it <laughs> so I brought the bearded dragon over to his house and he let me tell you something he loved his animals better than I've ever seen anyone in my entire life and when when uh, spirit was getting sick that, that was his name was spirit uh, he called me, goes, well, I don't think uh, Spirit's uh, feeling too good. And he had Spirit for about 10 years. He goes, can you, like, you know, maybe take him to your house for a while and, like, you know, take care of him? I said, okay. So I took him back to my house, and it was only there for a couple of days, and he died. Well, Neil was a wreck. So he came to my house, and he goes, well, we have to have a funeral. So we dug a hole, and he literally cried when we, we all held hands and said prayers. And that's the Neil that I've known for the last 30 years, or, or 20 years, that I've worked with. And he he would be there for anybody. He is rough around the edges. Have we had party time? Have we had fun in the studio? All the time. Uh, I have to say, of all the people I've ever worked with in my life, my favorite uh, makeup is to work with all of these guys, all the rock stars and all the Donnas and everybody I've ever worked with. It's been such a pleasure because I've got to know rock and roll Hollywood from a family side and point of view. Not to mention the fact that I also lived at the Playboy Mansion being a Playboy centerfold that was always added sugar on top of the cake. So we've had a very, very good time. Did that give you entree into the rock and roll makeup business? No, not at all. I was actually at a bar and I had some uh, nice pleather pants and I have a roly poly butt. And Neil across the room goes, hey you! can I buy you a drink? And I had a t-shirt on that said got pussy because I lived on the edge a little bit of rock and roll and I had a pair of pants on that were around my butt and he was checking out my butt and he wanted to buy me a drink so he gave me a $20 bill. I went to the bar, got a drink and I came back with just some pennies, like some change. He goes, how much was your drink? And I'm like, I like good drinks, my Neil. But ever since then we were um, friends and I was a makeup artist with uh, Greg Waterman that worked with Pitbull. So I've always been kind of in the rock and roll realm as well as the beauty realm. And once Neil got to, you know, use me, uh, the, a lot of the rock stars never really liked makeup. But once they started spending time with me, they would fight over the chair to get their makeup done. And I would sit there and be Neil's fan club while the pictures were being shot. You know, I've made friends with a lot of the people in the business, though. Like, it's been really nice because my nickname is Peggy Pie. That's what Neil calls me. And uh, so everybody else calls me Peggy Pie. So it's like having a slice of heaven. Favorite shoot? Oh, well, definitely with Chad, for sure. Uh, Neil's uh, Zlo's Hour. Zlo's Hour shoot was when we did something with all the rock stars. And then we pulled in every drummer in the world. I, there's, I can't even tell you which ones are my favorite because every one of them are my favorite. But do you have, I'm, I'm wondering if you have an experience that stands out to you about like Eddie Van Halen or Stephen Piercy or Nikki Six. Stephen Piercy, he, oh, by the, oh, by the way, um, Warrant, you know, definitely when I worked with them. And then also as a makeup artist, you're almost a therapist because I yes. know that people want to share the problems they're going through and the, and the travails they're having in their life. So were you did, were you ever able to reach out and help anybody when well, they were I'm going through? I'm also um, a life coach, so okay. I went to school for that. So I was able to use some of the tools and um, some of the tools have worked and, and a lot of them have followed up, went and got some books. Because, you know, a lot of the rock stars at the beginning of their life, you know, like Janie Lane. J Janie was uh, a really... So sad. Yeah, that's very... Actually, Janie was someone I dated and, and that wasn't because of Neil. I met Janie um, on another TV show that I worked with Gary Busey because I work with a lot of celebrities. So, um, I got to say that when I think of all these rock stars that have died, like 
in the last few years, I've worked with them all. And you have a little piece of them, you know, you take it with you. And it's a, it's a connection and it's a bond. I have to say though, one of my craziest makeup jobs I've ever done was on Dave Navarro. And those secrets I'm gonna have to take to my grave. <laughs> Steve and Piercy's a fun time too, you know, it's like everybody, like when you're in that makeup room with them, they just love that one-on-one -on -one time. They really do. And and when they rebook and rebook and uh, Joe Satriani, I mean, you, the list just goes on and they know that I'm there. We have family. So it's so nice that Neil's made me a part of his movie and brought me into it because he considers me a part of the family. The Blaring Out Show.